Kadija, and I'm part of the Youth Board for Chaitana Foundation. I'm Darsh, and this is my fourth year with Chaitana, and I'm currently serving as a chair on the Youth Board. And we welcome you to Chaitana Foundation's News Bulletin Series. As always, we'd like to start off by thanking our wonderful sponsors and volunteers, whose constant support is one of our main driving forces behind the success of these beautiful causes. And now we will begin recapping Chaitana's initiatives for the month of October 2021. In place of cooking and sack lunch packing, we began delivering food to homeless shelters when the pandemic started, and we've continued doing it to this very day. This month, we delivered food to homeless shelters every Saturday and Sunday. We served a total of 820 pizzas at four different shelters, Laurelwood, Willamette, RDNC, and Walnut Park. In Virginia, volunteers are opening a new Chaitanya Youth Club. If you have friends or family that live in Virginia, be sure to let them know and encourage them to join. We've had a few fundraisers going on this month. Youth volunteers raise funds to support delivering groceries to over 100 families of small artists in India. Another youth volunteer raised funds to deliver groceries to the Divya Daya Orphanage in Telangana. There's also a pickle sale going on, and another youth volunteer is running a fundraiser selling handmade clay violins. Both of these fundraisers are still open, and you can find details on our social media pages if you'd like to place an order. We also just had the Presidential Volunteer Service Award Ceremony for 2020 to 2021 to recognize our youth volunteers who did exceptional service to the community. Volunteers who complete a certain amount of service hours based on their age group can receive a bronze, silver, or gold medal. This year, a total of 36 youth volunteers across five states received the Presidential Volunteer Service Award with 11 earning bronze, 7 earning silver, and 18 earning gold. These recipients volunteered for a combined total of 4,709 hours over the past year. Chaitna has also provided many groceries and meals to those in need, including families of small artists and stage actors in Kotagudam, Ravi Teja Educational and Infected Welfare Society, and poor people in Pularigunta Village. We also served lunches to Odiyan Care Orphaned and Abandoned Girls Divya Daya Orphanage, Jeevan Sandhya Oldage Home, and to orphaned and disabled people in Hanuman Junction, Ganavaram, Opal, Hyderabad. We are also very close to our 160th day with the Free Rice ATM. In addition, as part of our empowerment efforts, Chaitna Foundation's India chapter provided sewing machines to the needy and also opened up a gym in Kotapet Mehbooba Bad District. We also donated eight laptops to people in the Osmania University of Hyderabad and students in the Pularigunta village and Suryapet district in Telangana. Over the course of October, Chaitana also donated a variety of other things, such as food carts to small vendors, 41 tricycles and 20 wheelchairs in Kalur, Kamam, and oxygen concentrators in primary healthcare centers in Mehabubabad. We also donated notebooks and school bags to the poor in Kotagoram, and gifted benches, computers, and built toilets in government primary schools in Karnataka. Chaitana Foundation is also planning to light up the lights using solar power for students in the forest areas with no power and plan to provide school bags to students who aren't able to buy them on their own and bring them joy as part of our Deepa Valley celebrations. That's it for today's recap of Chaitana events locally and globally. Once again, Virginia is opening a new youth club, so spread the word. The Dia fundraiser and the pickle sale are still open, so you can go ahead and order if you'd like. We generally deliver food to homeless shelters every weekend so you can sign up for that if you want to. Keep a lookout for more details. If you'd like to support and donate to any of these causes, please visit our website, chaitanaus.org, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates and follow us on our social media. Thank you all for tuning in and see you next time.